Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to lower the cooldown of abilities or reset them completely. So first of all, you have to go into your gameplay ability system. So your actual class, right? So whatever derives from you ability system component. And if you don't have one, you have to make one, obviously. Just make a child of whatever you're using right now and then just reparent your ability system to that. All right, after that, we just need two little functions. So this one will reset it completely. So reset cooldowns with matching loading tag. And then you pass in tag container. And then this one it resets it, but by a certain amount. So instead of just completely removing the effect, it, it lowers it by a certain amount, right? So here you can look at what it's called and then just put it in your stuff. Okay, so reset in completely super easy. You just query the the effects you have with this function, which comes from gameplay effect. So the gameplay effect query. And you make a query with a matching only tags, and then you pass in the the cooldown tag container. And that query will get you all the effects and then you just remove all the effects, right? And the way you call that in, in Unreal, you go in here, you get your ability system component, and then you just reset cooldown with matching only tags like this. And then you pass in the, the only tags, right? So you can pass in a, a specific tag or you can just pass in your parent tag, like you pass in cooldown, it will grab every effect that has so if you pass in cooldown it will grab everything here everything under it right but if you want a specific uh, effect so you want to only reset the cooldown of firestorm let's say you select firestorm right because then it won't grab the other ones that's how that works so it, it grabs if you select cooldown it grabs everything or if you select a specific one, it only grabs that one. That's pretty much how that works. And for reduce cooldown with matching only tags by a certain amount, right? So you can reduce about one second to whatever, right? It's a little more work. So let's let's look through what this is happening. So we just check if the reduction amount is greater than zero, right? We don't want to reduce it by a negative amount. And it's we want to just check that in case someone passes in a negative amount, right? Just a good check to make. So the same thing, we just query, we get the query, and then we get all the active effects from the query, right? And then we iterate through them. Let's close this. Okay. And then, and that will give us a handle. And then we get the matching gameplay effect from the handle. Okay, so that's the active effect, the current active effect. And then from that effect, we get time remaining. That is a function that comes from gameplay effect. And you pass it in the current world time, right? That's what it's asking, the current world time. And this is how you get the current world time. Get world, get time seconds. And that will give you the remaining duration, right? And now you want to calculate your new duration. And this is how you do it. So you get the remainder, re remainder duration and you minus the reduction amount, which you passed in, right? So if it's 10 minus 2, that would be 8. And we want to do an F max just in case we go under it, right? So if it's 2 and you reduce it by 3, that would be negative. So it would only reduce it to 0, right? But then we double check if the new reduction is greater than zero so if the remaining time will be greater than zero we do this but if it isn't we just remove the effect like we did up here right because we don't want to reapply it if it's going to be gone anyways but if it is greater than zero we're going to have to do this so we get the active look effect we get a spec we get the definition and then we get the class so this will give you the, the class of the so the gameplay effect class that this cooldown is from, right? So 
for example, minus this class right here, g cooldown tag stack based, right? This is a little more advanced. So usually some people will have this as a scalable float and it would add their tags here, right? So instead of uh, this, you would have like tag, uh, granted tags, and then you would put your your little cooldown tag here, right? So that's what yours would look like. And then set by color, you would have a scalable flow. That's what normal cooldown things is like. This, this is how I'm doing mine, because I only want one cooldown effect for everything, and then just apply it given the, the gameplay ability, right? I pass in my guild ability by my cooldown tag through a data asset that contains the cooldown tag and its duration. Okay, so you get it, and then you create a new spec handle given that that the gameplay effect, which you usually would like normal in blueprints. You make a going spec handle, you get the level of the spec. So if you want to scale your ability, your effects by uh, by level, by ability level, that's how you do it. And then you get effect context from the active effect. And uh, if it's valid, so if it's, it was created correctly, we set the duration with the new duration, right? And then you don't have to do this if you do the, if you apply your tags this way. So if you press that and then tags, whatever. Granted tag. So if your gameplay effect has this, and then you put a cooldown, whatever. So if your gameplay effect already has a tag, you don't have to do that. Because if the gameplay effect, you're just making a new one and the base one already has it. So you don't have to add it, right? Okay. So this is just for me because I do it different. And then you just remove the, the current handle, remove the current active gameplay effect, and apply the new handle. So you're swapping from the old one to the new one with a lower time, right? And then just, and that's it. So it's like a little swap that you do. You replace the old effect with a new effect with a lower time. That's pretty much it. And to show it off, we can go here. And as you can see, when I press left alt, I will reduce it by one. And when I press left control, it will just get completely removed, right? Let's play. So as you can see, I'm gonna press T. This is a long cooldown, so it's easier to show. So it's at 10, I press left alt, it removes it by one. By one, by one, and then play again. And then I press left control, it completely removes it, right? And I can keep going. And that's it. So that's how you lower the cooldown on your gameplay effects. All right, good luck.